Hello and welcome. My name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program here in North Vancouver. We have an hour together for adapted yoga. Adapted and accessible to everybody. So as we move forward, especially with the movements, you're figuring out what works for you. If something doesn't feel right or if you're not quite sure about it, simply imagine moving before you start. Staying with the breath, imagine moving, and then test it out only if it feels right for you. And if anything you're doing brings any kind of sharp pain, please stop what you're doing immediately. The breath is a really good gauge to decide whether something's right in our body. We'll start with a steady breath, and if the breath continues to be steady throughout any of the movements, then it's a pretty good gauge to say that your body feels safe and that the, bo the body feels safe enough to keep that breath flowing. If you're noticing something changing in the breath, just stop and pay attention and maybe shift or adapt the movement to simply feel better for you. Or you can always rest. So, coming to a comfortable seat in a chair that is supportive and stable, and you've got a little bit of space around you so you won't be bumping yourself as you move. You can sit in the back of the chair if you'd like that support, or feel free to come forward any amount. So, we start to use the muscles, those postural muscles um, that hold the spine um, up. And the more we can do that, sit away from the back of the chair, then the more those muscles are engaged. But again, using the back of the chair whenever you need to. There's no right or wrong here. There's only what feels right in your body. And that's going to change all the time. So we're kind of paying attention to what our body is telling us. Feet are a comfortable distance away. And you're welcome to root down into those feet by pushing down. Or if you'd like to, option to lift the toes or even the balls of the feet. You can scrunch those toes up, wiggle them around a little bit to wake up our awareness of the feet. And then stretching those toes as wide as we possibly can. Doesn't matter whether you're wearing shoes or socks or you've got bare feet. Just stretch them as wide as we can and replace them down on the floor so we feel that connection downwards. You can even push down a little bit into that support underneath you just to kind of wake up that awareness in the soles of your feet and the muscles that engage all the way through your legs. We'll do the same thing with our seat. You can wiggle from side to side. You might even notice as you do that, there are two bony bits underneath you. That's the base of the pelvis. And we root down through those evenly. So notice if you're sitting more in one side than the other. And notice what it feels like to kind of even that up always changing things to feel better for you. And then from there, we sit deeply into that seat. So letting the full weight of our upper body sit into the chair underneath you. We've still got that connection down to our feet and now our seat. So that's our foundation. And then from there, we lift up through the spine, up through the crown of the head. Roll the shoulders softly one way and another and allow them to settle down away from the ears. Collarbones wide, but a width across the upper back shoulders as well. So we're not just jamming the shoulders back. Consider whether you want to sit forward or back so you bring your shoulders more or less in line with your hips so they're stacked one another, they're stacked over one another. You can even draw the chin back a little bit and you might find some lengthening in the back of the neck there. But all of these cues are there just to wake up your awareness of what's happening in your body. So notice what I say and then decide whether it's right for you. And then we'll take a big breath in when you're ready in your own way. Exhale that out, softening and letting go. And we'll do another couple like that. Feel free to lower your gaze, soften your gaze, or close your eyes as you're doing that. And with those longer breaths, we start to be present here on our chair. 
letting the rest of the world kind of soften away. And with that internal focus, keep the breath going now in its easy, natural rhythm, no forcing. And check in and notice how you're feeling today, the kind of energy levels you're working with. Notice if, if there's a lot on your mind. And be gentle with yourself if there is. Notice how your physical body is feeling. Notice the areas that feel tight, that feel like you have some tension there or discomfort. And without the story as much as we can, as soon as we feel sensation, especially discomfort, then it tends to be a, oh, for example, my shoulder's hurting because, and then we have a story attached to it. See if we can stay away from the story and just notice sensation, just pure sensation. And then notice other parts of your body too that you may not have brought your awareness to because they're not loud. Quieter places, places that feel comfort. And if you're not quite sure what those places are, they're the places that we have less awareness to. If there's anything you can do here to offer yourself less tension, whether it's movement or shifting your body in a certain way, then please go ahead and do that. It's all about offering yourself what you need here. And then we start to notice our breath. And starting to mindfully breathe. So maybe breathing in and out through the nose, which simply soothes the nervous system. But if that's not something that feels good to you today, then breathe in a way that does feel better. And we start to lengthen the breath a little on the inhale and a little on the exhale. So the breath gets a little longer in your own way. And then we start to steady that breath out as best as we can. And you might notice that there are some areas of your breath that are less steady than others. That's completely normal. We just do our best to smooth it out. And that doesn't mean it has to be smooth. It's just a little smoother. And then with these longer, smoother breaths in and out, bring a quality of softness into the breath. So if there's any tension that's built up in your body as you focus on the breath, soften. Even if you have to let the breath get a little smaller to get that quality of softness, go ahead and do that. Letting go of some of the effort and bringing in more ease. And notice if this breath, your breath, feels sustainable, feels comfortable in your body. And offer yourself anything to make it feel just simply nicer and more comfortable for you. We'll root down through the feet and the seat with focus on the breath. And then we'll lift from there and broaden through the upper body. Steadier, smoother breaths in and out. And then from there, with your hands supported or not, we're going to start to roll through the shoulders. Inhaling and exhaling, just moving with the breath. You don't have to match my movements. Allow the rhythm of your breath to guide the movements. And if it feels better having your hands dangling, then go ahead. Start small. More is not better in yoga. We're looking for more fluidity in the breath and the movement. 
And then when you're ready, we'll go around in the opposite direction and that might feel very different. It might feel very different one shoulder to the other. Again, trying to stay away from the stories and just notice sensation, adapt and change things to feel better for you. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ease through that shoulder joint. So bringing the left hand to support here, we're going to lean forward using your hand or your elbow. I'm going to take that left hand over to the right and I'm going to dangle that right arm. Chin in towards the chest. If this is uncomfortable for you, you can always support your head. And then with that kind of pendulum-like action, letting that right shoulder sway back and forth. Ease in the shoulder socket. And then you can create circles there if you want. Noticing if there's going in one direction and then the other. Noticing if there's anything you can do to find a little more ease in that joint. And then from there, I'm going to take that right hand down now and the left hand dangles. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. That pendulum-like action. Rooting down through your feet and your seat, noticing where you feel this in your body. Maybe some circles. And then back in the opposite direction. Again, loosening through the shoulder socket there. The left hand comes back to support, as does the right on your thighs, and will come all the way up. Any dizziness, sit back into the chair, and everybody come back to that steady breath. I'm going to take that right hand down to start. I'm going to go through the wrists, circling through that wrist. You can take the hand in a soft fist if that feels good, or you can um, allow those fingers to sparkle out. And then we'll go around in the opposite direction. Notice where you feel this. It might not be in the wrist. It might be, might be somewhere else entirely. And we'll turn that right palm up when you're ready, bending from the elbow, inhaling up, exhaling down. Moving with the breath, allowing the breath to move through you and for you. Can stay here. Or we start to move from the shoulder, easy joints. As high or as low as feels comfortable for you. Moving as if through resistance, as if through honey. Also the movement becomes more fluid. Option to stay here. Option to take that right hand behind the head and just allow that elbow to come in and out a little with the breath. And when you're ready, on the inhale, we'll take that elbow out as much as we feel comfortable. Rooting to rise, same breath. On the inhale, you're going to lift up through that right elbow. Exhale back to center. And keeping the right sit bone rooted here. As you come over, you can use that left hand to support you on your chair if that feels better in your body. Stay pulsing, or next time we lift, we stay. Draw the head back into the fingertips. Elbow is drawn as wide as is comfortable in your body, and we're breathing. Any tightness, soften. You've got another two breaths, longer, smoother, and softer breaths, noticing where you're hardening in the body. And on an exhale, we'll take that hand all the way down. Once again, rolling through the shoulder one way and then another. Coming to the other side. Left hand comes down, and we're circling through the wrist. Soft fists. Fingertips spread wide or a little bit of both. Just moving in a way that feels good for you. Getting that synovial fluid 
flowing. The lubrication of the joints will take that round in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. And again, always changing things to feel better for you. Oh, take that left palm out when you're ready. Again, those collarbones are wide, but rooting to rise on the inhale, lifting from the elbow, exhaling down. Imagine that you're moving through honey, through molasses, something thick. And even move through water if you want to. Staying here or starting to move from the shoulder, but only if that feels okay for you. Easy joints here. As high or as low as naturally your body wants to go to. Option to stay here. Option to take that left hand and tap those fingertips behind the skull. And then just move through the elbow a little bit on the inhale, we're getting wide on the exhale, that elbow can come forward. And then when you're ready, the elbow comes out to a comfortable place. Moving the skull back into the fingertips. This is the exhale. On the inhale, we'll lift up through the left elbow, coming over towards the right, exhaling down. And again, that right hand is there for support. And that's a great functional movement here. We need this to be able to brush our hair, we need to put scarves on, hats on, things like that. Washing ourselves. You can stay here or lift up through the elbow and stay. And again, support yourself any amount. Rooting through the bottom half of your body and lifting from there. If there's any hardening that's drawing into the body, see if you can soften that. It's kind of a compensation for where we feel um, maybe we can't stay in sustainability. Steady breath, one more breath, more or less, unless you want to rest early. And then we'll come all the way down, release that hand and roll through the shoulders. Hands back to support on the top of your legs, sitting away from the back of your chair if you want to, as we come down in through the spine now. On the inhale, we're drawing the heels of the hands back towards the pelvis, elbows draw back, shoulder blades come towards each other, and we get this width across the front of the heart. On the exhale, we're pushing the fingertips towards the knees, belly draws into the spine, and the back ribs push towards the back of the chair. Seated cat and cow. Inhaling and exhaling. Doesn't have to be a big movement. Again, working with what your body is, letting you know feels good. Staying with the breath, the entire inhale is that extension of the spine as we get this wide front body and the entire exhale is the flexion of the spine as we come back. So notice if the, there's any places here that the breath feels sticky and see if you can smooth that out and with the smoothing of the breath smooth the movement adding on we lift the chin on the inhale exhale chin can come down towards the chest notice how that feels and then we're coming down into the lower back as we come in through the pelvic tilts on the inhale the tailbone goes out behind us any amount exhale tucking the tailbone any amount and that'll bring it down into the lower back into the pelvis more so decide for yourself how much feels best for you inhaling and exhaling if you want to add on fingertips towards or on the shoulders. On the inhale, we're widening a little bit like chicken wings here. And on the exhale, as we draw the chin in, elbows come towards each other, maybe even downwards. Inhaling wide, exhaling together. So on that inhale, we're getting a wider front body. And on the exhale, the back body is getting the breadth and the length. If having the arms is taking away from your experience of the flexion and extension of the spine, then please take the hands back onto support. Again, more is not better in yoga. We're just figuring out what works for us. Inhaling and exhaling. 
And then when you're ready, on an exhale, we're gonna stay there for three breaths, wherever you are, breathing into the back of the ribs, back of the heart, breathing into any hardness, any um, tension. And then on the next inhale, we're gonna stay on an inhale for a couple of breaths if that feels good to you, if not, flow. Breathing into where you feel tight, where there's tension. Soften where you need to. Beautiful, staying for the end of the exhale, unless you're resting. We'll just do a few more cat and cows, just to soften anything we may have brought into the body through staying in those places. And then we'll come all the way back to center. Rolling through the shoulders any amount. I'm gonna take that right arm, thumb facing up all the way over to the left side. Now from here, using that left hand, you can draw the forearm in or the upper arm. Now when we get into the upper arm, what happens is that shoulder gets snuggled right into the ear. I'm gonna roll that right shoulder back and down so we're really getting the length over the shoulder joint. Inhaling and exhaling, figuring out simply what feels best in your body. And again, it's gonna be different for each of us because we're all put together differently. Steady breath. And on your next exhale, we'll release. Any tension releasing, go ahead, same thing. Left arm comes over and you see how my shoulder is just reached up towards my left arm. Here, so I'm going to drop that round and back and that's a different sensation here across that shoulder, inhaling and exhaling. Keeping everything easy, keeping the breath fluid. Mm -hmm. Last one here. And then we're going to release that. Taking the hands in soft fists, thumbs towards the sky here, elbows drawn in towards the waist. Once again, shoulders are back and down and those collarbones are wide. On an inhale, we're opening up through the arms, keeping those elbows in, exhaling, drawing the hands towards each other. Inhaling wide, exhaling back. Consider keeping the front ribs snuggled in as what we like to do here is draw, um, push them out so we get a bigger range of motion. But we want the spine to be um, in one line here. So we're really getting the motion through the shoulders and through the arms. In fact, as you do this, notice where you're feeling it. Consider on that inhale, drawing the shoulder blades towards each other and notice how they slide away from each other as you bring the fingertips towards each other. And again, more is not better here. You can stay here. Well, next time we come to that inhale, we're staying. Notice if those ribs pop out, draw them back in, belly button towards the spine as the breath is fluid. Where there's tension building, Soften and release so the body feels safe here. Stay for the last breath unless you're resting. And then we come all the way back to center, rolling through the shoulders. Mm -hmm. But a few more things to go on into the shoulders here. So we're going to take some wall angels. Arms out, palms towards the screen. Elbows drawn down, collarbones wide. Soft breath here, rooting to rise. This is the exhale, elbows drawing in towards the waist, then not going to get there for most of us. Inhaling, we're gonna keep the same joint um, angle, and we're just gonna imagine that we're resting up against a wall. Our go-to here, especially on that exhale, is to pop those ribs out. So try and keep the ribs drawn in, kind of try and keep the spine neutral as we're moving through those wall angels. It's not a very big movement. Again, consider what's happening in the shoulder joints here, through the shoulder blades. We've got another two. We 
and stay to the last exhale, your own exhale, and then we'll release through the shoulders. Any tension releasing, go ahead. Okay, giving those shoulders a little bit of a break, we're gonna get into some rotation through the spine here. So again, come forward or back on your chair, whatever feels comfortable. Keeping the hands nice and supported on the arms of your chair or your upper legs. Rooting to rise, steady breath here. Notice how you're feeling, check in with yourself. Notice if you're pushing a little bit too much, if there's something you can do to be a little bit more gentle with yourself. Fluid breath, as fluid as we can make it. Rooting to rise. Really connecting downwards through our seat in particular, so we isolate the movement in the spine here. Twisting to the left to start with. This is the inhale, getting length on the exhale. Right fingertips come forward, left back. Looking over to the left. Inhaling to center, exhaling, twisting any amount. Mm -hmm. And you can glance over that left shoulder if you like. You can use your hands as a little leverage on your legs. But the movement is fluid, like the breath is fluid. Notice if there's something that you can do to make this feel easier in your body. You can stay here, pulsing, or next time we come back, option to stay. Notice if that right hip is drawing forward, if it is, draw it back. Every inhale, we have an opportunity to lengthen. Every exhale, to soften or to deepen that twist, whatever feels better for you. You can even take the eyes as far back as you can, stretching the muscles in the eyes. And then staying for the last exhale here, coming all the way back to center, going to the other side towards the right. So on the inhale, we lift, we root to rise. On the exhale, we're twisting to the right any amount. And notice whether this side feels a little bit easier, a little bit more challenging. See if there's anything that you can change in the movement to feel more fluid for you. And maybe every other one feels better. You can stay in movement here, glancing over that right shoulder if that feels okay in your neck. Or next time we come, we stay. Three breaths. Glancing as far to the right as feels comfortable in your spine. Making sure that left hip is drawn back. You can even take the gaze all the way back behind you. Stay for the exhale. And then on the inhale, we're coming back to center. Any movement you need in your spine, go ahead. And then from there, we're going to be taking those feet a little bit wider. Make sure you feel stable. Our external rotation doesn't have to look a particular way, but it does need to feel like you're supported. Rooting to rise here. And this can feel very different with the legs wider. Hands supporting you here. And then we're rolling through those ribs. Inhaling, forward exhaling, back making it small to start with, as if we're hula hooping through those bottom ribs. It's a very controlled movement, just as mindful as everything else we've been doing, noticing what our body is telling us about this movement. If there's anything you can do to change it up to feel better for you. And then, as you get more into the movement, maybe there's a little bit more movement there. Maybe there's a more fluidity. You can choose to get your shoulders, your head and neck, your hips as involved as you want. And then when you're ready, we'll take that round in the opposite direction. Again, a very mindful movement, as if we're moving through molasses. So the movement becomes as fluid as we can make it, and the breath is that longer, smoother, softer breath we found in the beginning. Mm -hmm. 
And then when you're ready, we'll come back to center, rooting to rise, and we'll heel toe those feet in at a comfortable distance for you. From here, the more you sit back in your chair for the next movement, then the more support you're going to get. The more you sit forward, the less support. So you might wanna check that out. We're gonna root through the left foot, and on the inhale, we're lifting up through the right heel, exhaling, taking it down. Just bringing awareness to the foot, pushing down through the ball of the right foot to lift that right heel. And it doesn't have to come very high at all. Rooting to rise as we lift and lower. Great place to stay. Now on an inhale, if you want to add on, we're going to slide the foot forward. That's the inhale. Exhale, bringing it back. So we're extending that right leg. Exhale, sliding it back. And it may feel better to tap or slide depending on the surface underneath you. Great place to be right here. If you want to add on, we're tapping forward and back. Option to tap with the heel, toes to the sky. The inhale is the lengthening, exhale bringing back. And this is why coming forward or back on your chair is your choice. Whether you want more support or less support, option to stay here. Option on an inhale to extend, hover, exhale, bring it back. The heel can be down on the floor or it can be hovering, getting into the knee. You're using that left foot for support and the option here is to keep the right thigh at a 90 degree angle from the hip and extend and flex the foot. Upper body is stable and still, so notice if you're rocking backwards and forwards, taking support if you need to, work through every other one if that feels better for you. Inhaling and exhaling. Great place to be, we've got three more. Using that left foot for foundation will help. Nice. Next time we come forward, that right foot will go down all the way to the floor and we'll circle through that ankle. It looks like it's only getting into the ankle, but it's actually going through the whole leg, all the way from the hip joint here, getting the knee involved and the ankle too. We're going to go around in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Releasing any tension that you may have built up. And then we're drawing that right knee back. Soften any which way feels comfortable for you if there's still tension there. And we're coming to the other side. Rooting down through the right foot and your seat, rooting to rise. Breath is as steady as you can make it. And then the option is to on the inhale, lift through the left heel, exhale, take it down. You can always manually lift if that feels better for you. And you can simply imagine moving. We're not concerned about how high that Heel comes. Excellent place to stay. Adding on. The next inhale, we're sliding the foot forward. I've got a sticky mat here. On the exhale, we're sliding back. Inhaling and exhaling. And depending on the stickiness underneath you, tapping forward and back may feel better or tapping forward and dragging back depending on the surfaces that you're working with. That right foot is your foundation, as is your seat though, and we lift from there. That'll lighten up the left leg. You can stay here. On the inhale, if you're adding, we're tapping forward, either toes forward, or you can tap through the heel, that's the inhale. Exhale, we're bringing it back. So that leg does not have to be straight, just a little straighter. We're using our foundation. You might even notice as you root through that right leg, the muscles that are engaging for that to happen. 
not just through the hip at all. You might notice it through your whole body, you might not. Nice, you can stay here or on an inhale, we're hovering the heel, exhale, tapping down. Inhaling and exhaling. You know where we're going as we've done it on the other side. If you wanna go ahead um, to your comfort zone, please do. If you're adding, on an inhale, we're extending, exhaling back. You can lift through the foot, you can tap down, you can take the whole foot down. Your choice, inhaling and exhaling. Notice what's happening with your upper body. Notice what's happening with your breath. Keep the breath flowing. Even if you have to do every other one, it's better to do that and keep the breath than hold the breath, brace the body and do the movement. The body, um, likes flow, likes flow of breath, likes flow of movement. That's where we get the most benefit. Nice, next one, we're gonna take that heel down to the floor if it's not already there. And then we're gonna circle through the ankle. Support yourself any amount, always adjusting your seat on your chair so you feel stable. And then coming round in the opposite direction. And again, this is nourishing the whole of the leg here. Beautiful. Coming back to center when you're ready. Any softness you need to release any tension you may have built up, please go ahead and do that. And then from here, we're going to come down to the floor. So I'll meet you there. Coming down to the floor, I have a bolster that I'm going to put behind me. If you have a pillow or a rolled towel, that can be helpful. And if you don't, no big deal. We're going to be coming down on our right side. Now, if you know that that right side, either your ribs or your hip is sensitive, please either come to a softer surface or make sure you put support like blankets or towels down so you're not bruising yourself. We're gonna come all the way down, support your head, either your bicep and a pillow, or I'm gonna use my hand because that's comfortable for me. Feet and ankles, knees are all stacked over one another, as are your hips. And that bolster behind you, or a pillow, is really snuggled into your mid to lower back. And I'm gonna drink, draw that up a little higher. Use the left hand to roll the left shoulder back so we're really on our side body here. Your angle of your thighs is about a 45 degree-ish, but we're all put together differently. And again, if you're here and your hip starts hurting, please use support underneath it. On the inhale, clamshells here, we're gonna draw the left knee open, exhaling down. So we want to keep everything facing forward and we're moving from the hip here. Notice if you're rolling the pelvis open towards the sky, if that's happening, use that support behind you to give you feedback. So the movement is not very big here. Inhaling and exhaling. Mm-hmm with the breath, steady breath. And if this feels comfortable for you, then fantastic, stay here. If you wanna add on, you will lengthen that top leg or lengthen both legs. And again, any support you need, go ahead. The inhale, keeping the toes facing forward, inhale is up, exhaling down. Notice, how this feels in your body. And if you need to bend that bottom leg to get more support, then please go ahead and do that. It's not a very big movement. And again, notice if you're rolling yourself open, we really just want the adduction here. So moving away from the center of the body. Mm -hmm. and that left hand can support you, beautiful.
last breath here and then bring the knees in towards each other from here option to either take that top knee in front of you you can support it i've got that bolster here you can support it on top of that bolster ankle and knee or if you want to and it's there for you you can take that foot to the floor i find this a little bit um, awkward and then we're going to lengthen that bottom leg from here inhaling up exhaling down so whatever feels most comfortable for you inhaling and exhaling Make sure that the foot is a little flexed here and it's almost like we're pushing through the heel lifting and lowering. Mm -hmm. Inhaling and exhaling. And then the next time we come up, we're just going to take that forward and back. always working with your breath this is working with adduction here adduction and then when you're ready taking that foot down support yourself if you like getting the hip extension here so from here taking the top leg long again and then keeping the upper body exactly where it is we're pulsing the leg forward and back and the back is what we want here, that extension here. So extension is that leg coming behind us any amount. Notice if the front ribs are popping out and, and you see I'm over exaggerating here, but keeping those bottom ribs drawn in and we've got that extension through the hip. Mm -hmm. Option to stay here, option to pulse that heel back behind you any amount that the ribs are drawn in and we're breathing three breaths and then when you're ready bringing the knees and ankles back towards each other beautiful and from here you can either roll to the other side or because I've got the camera facing one way, I'm coming to the other side. I've got that bolster maybe behind me. Any support you need under the ribs, under the hip, please take it. Right hand here supports you in front of you and everything stacked over one another. Legs are connected towards each other about a 45 degree angle-ish, whatever feels right in your body. Inhaling, exhaling, clamshells. What we're looking for is fluidity in the breath, fluidity in the movement, going through all the movements, all the ranges of motion through the body. And this is a great place to be. If this feels comfortable for you then keep going here if you want to add on either keeping that bottom leg bent top leg straight or taking the top legs long heels uh, el ankles stacked on top of one another and again it can help to have that bolster or support behind you inhaling and exhaling so abduction going away from the center line of the body here it's a little bit harder with the legs longer, so if that's not suiting you, clamshells. And that's just simply because we're taking more weight because the um, leg is long and we're lifting up through the ankle. Notice if you're rushing through a particular area. Notice at the top if you're um, rooting through the front of your ribs, everything in your spine nice and long and steady here supported with that top hand excellent place to be taking the foot down here now if you have a block or a bolster you want to take that knee and ankle and support go ahead if the foot can come to the floor any amount go ahead there flexing through the bottom leg inhaling and exhaling pulsing steady movement here though so it's not a 
pulsing up. It is a steady, smooth movement, as best as you can make it. So we're not using momentum and the entire leg is hovering unless you need a break. Take breaks whenever you need to. Nicely done. The next exhale, hovering the heel and we're pulsing backwards and forwards here. So getting a little extension through flexion and extension through that bottom hip. Steady breath. Mm -hmm. Next time, we're gonna take that foot all the way down. Bottom leg is long, uh, sorry, top leg is long. Bottom leg can be bent or straight. And we're getting flexion and extension through the hip flexor here. Keeping those bottom ribs neutral so the movement really is coming from the hip and not from the spine as we jut those ribs out. It's not a very big movement. We don't have a lot of extension through the hip here. Inhaling and exhaling. It's not a movement we often do. It's part of our walking movement. So we do need it, that range of motion to be fluid. Nice. And then when you're ready, option to stay. Three breaths, draw the ribs in, keeping that extension through the front of the pelvis. Staying for steady breaths. Then on an exhale, we're coming all the way back to center. Nicely done. And then from here, we're gonna roll over onto our back. You can keep that bolster, that rolled towel handy as you come over onto your back, coming into um, a gentle twist here. Arms out in a cactus or a T, knees to the sky, feet to the floor. And if there's any movements you want to go ahead and do before the, um, we come into a twist, then go ahead and do that. Otherwise, we're picking the hips up and we're shifting them off towards the left. Draw the knees in here and that bolster or towel can be handy as we take the knees over to the other side. Left shoulder is grounded and rooted. You get to play with where it is you want those knees for your body. Taking a big breath in. Exhaling it out. Mm -hmm. Steady, smooth breaths, releasing any tension. Always changing everything up to feel better for you. Easy breath. And then when you're ready, Gaze comes to center, keeping both the shoulders down. We'll draw the knees up to center. Feet come down, shift the hips to center and over towards the right side. You can take that bolster or any support you want over to the left as we draw the knees in and over. Ankles and knees can be supported here. Right shoulder is rooted. And then the option is to take the gaze over that right shoulder and find a sweet place for you here. So that's gonna be different for each of us. If you have a different twist that works better in your body, please go ahead and do that. This is not about lying here and hoping it's over soon. This is about finding a place that feels good in your body. And if there's another movement that feels better for you, then please go ahead and take it. Steady breath. You can 
stay for as long as you like here. Or we're taking the gaze up to center and the knees come up to center too. Feet come down, releasing yourself to a central place and you can use that bolster underneath the thighs or the knees for support if that's good for you. And if there's another movement you want to take to finish off your practice, go ahead. Otherwise, we're coming to relaxation, whatever that means for you. And it might be on your side, your belly, your back. It might be on your couch or your bed. I'm going to come up to seated, but you stay in a place that feels comfortable for you. And we've got one last joint to get through. So wherever you are, taking your two piece fingers on both sides of your hands, draw those first and second fingers together and take them all the way up to the back of your jaw. So if you open and close your mouth, you'll feel the jawbone opening and closing. And then keep a softness in the jaw, back teeth parted here. I'm gonna start making circles at the point at the back of the jaw where the lower jaw meets the skull, the TMJ. As much or as little pressure as feels good to you here. And then you're going to start to work along the teeth line towards the edges of your mouth. Soft, circular movements or firm, your choice. Let the lips be soft as you work along the teeth line, all the way to the corners of your mouth, and then we're going to go around in the opposite direction as we come back. And you might notice that some areas feel super tight here. We're going to go backwards and forwards a few times. And if you find a really good spot in there that feels really nice for you to massage into it, then please stay. Otherwise, we're coming back to the back of the jaw once more. And then you're going to take your fingers about two or three centimeters forward. And if you bring your teeth together and clench them at the back, you're going to feel a muscle kind of pop out there. Mm-hmm. That gets really tight. So what I want you to do is, with those piece fingers, circle around there and I want you to open and close your jaw. And you can work up to the cheekbone and down towards the bottom ridge of the jaw as you're doing that. So we're going up and down. And then we're just gonna go side to side with the fingers from the bottom ridge of the jaw all the way up to the cheekbones on that lumpy bit. Going across the fiber of the muscle. Mm -hmm. And then from here, just open your mouth really wide as if you're saying, wow. i do that a couple of times. Mm-hmm. Then we're going to release those fingers, shake out those hands if you put a lot of pressure on there. Coming to our Shavasana, our relaxation. So start with the mouth here. You can run your tongue where the teeth meet the gums, top and bottom, front and back, and then release the back teeth so they're parted. Tongue to be, can be soft in the bottom of your mouth, even touching the back of your front teeth there. Anything that feels comfortable. And together we'll take a big full breath in. And exhale that out like a sigh. Another few breaths just like that. Allow your bones to
to rest downwards towards any support underneath you. Allow your joints to find a little bit of space in between them. Now we've moved through all of them. And allow the muscles to soften and release down, including the muscles around your face and jaw. And then from the crown of the head, wash downwards through all those muscles, softening, releasing, allowing them to be loose. Any little bits of tension, tightness in the body. Anything you can do to release and relax those areas, please go ahead. Allow the skin to release too. And lastly, the thoughts, the thinking. Allow that to be easy and smooth. Mm -hmm. Everything easy. knowing you can stay as long as you like and simply start to notice the support underneath you notice all the areas your body is supported if you want to stay longer just tune me out tune my voice out let it wash over you and those of you who want to finish your practice Start to notice your breath. Maybe inviting in deeper inhales and soft, longer exhales. Maybe even out through the mouth like a sigh. Allowing the body to awaken in its own natural way with its own soft movements, being gentle with yourself. Stretching or giving yourself a hug, whatever feels better for you. And you can stay exactly where you are to finish up. Or if there's a shape you want to take to finish up your practice, please go ahead and make your way there in your own time. Your hands coming into a gesture of closing. When you're ready, gathering in an inhale, exhale, allowing the chin to 
drop slowly towards the chest any amount that feels okay for you. Find that routine to rise once more through your body. And just check in and notice how you feel here after moving through all the joints. Notice your energy level. Notice the language of your body. And taking that internal view. And thank yourself sincerely here for your practice, for movement, for breath, for taking the time. And from my heart to yours. Namaste. Thank you for practicing.